hey guys so originally i was just gonna stay out of this because it's just kind of like another day another female rap beef like who really cares but i think there's some interesting parts to this that everyone's missing this isn't about meg collabing with cardi this isn't about whatever stupid ass excuse that he's making about her telling her to get an abortion and have a drink or whatever the fuck this is about jay-z this is about jay-z and excuse me because i'm not trying to be fresh at all but um jay-z has this way of kind of like presenting himself in the culture as like this daddy warbucks kind of figure and this is my own estimate and my own just kind of theory i think that women who choose rap as a path maybe like six or seven times out of ten are lacking some sort of father figure in their life you know maybe the dad was absent maybe the father's deceased um just no male role models around um and it's not so much a show of bravado like hey i can do what the boys do it's more like an inadvertent inadvertent way of seeking closeness to men now when you really 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 dig down into it nikki be like sweating jay in a different type of way like low-key she'd be like low-key on his dick like it's so funny i'm i'm really good at reading body language and stuff like that i could see in the feeling myself video like beyonce's kind of just like laughing at her like huh bitch yeah like you wish and when they did the performance together <laughs> beyonce's like no i'm gonna wear pink you wear black she's like oh nico <laughs> it's funny it's funny like beyonce's just sunning her like uh -huh, like little bitch you know um jay-z has kind of positioned himself in this way where um, almost every type of female artist female urban artist feels like she needs his approval of sorts you know and nikki is low-key like i could just feel that she's low-key felt slighted by jay just by just even by his association with meek mill you know and but she's also at the same time been trying to wiggle her way in like nikki wants to be a rock nation girl bad that's what this beef is about she want to be a rock nation girl so fucking bad like you know dating nas like it's just like yeah when you really pay attention like her pitter pattering around and the way she's always like that's why Jane Clear's verse for your album is just like, why you fucking care? When did you get a Jay-Z verse on your fucking record? Like, you know what I'm saying? But, and on top of that, like, it's been years, years since Jay-Z has co-signed, publicly co-signed any female rapper. And the fact that it's Megan, like, it could be anybody, you know what I mean? It could be, it could be fucking me, you know what I mean? It could be bad baby, it could be whoever. The fact that someone, some girl that is not Nikki, got Jay-Z's public cosign, some female rapper that's not Nikki, got Jay-Z's public cosign, makes Nikki jealous. It makes her feel jealous um and it makes her feel kind of alone if you like pay attention like when these things kind of happen all of those like young money guys are like kind of nowhere to be found you know 
and I know she felt really, really special when she aced that monster verse. But I, th I think she may have gotten a little deluded. And, you know, Kanye's kind of just been like jiggling her back and forth or whatever. Like, <laughs> you know, so, poor Kanye. Poor Kanye. He doesn't know how many women have like actually only entertained him because they wanted to <laughs> eventually get to Jay. <laughs> Whew, okay, that's another conversation for another day. But, um, yeah, Nikki felt like she was supposed to be embraced by him in some way or whatever. And just to see him not give a fuck that she's saying Meek Mill killed, like, yeah, just to see him not give a fuck that Meek Mill supposedly, allegedly, I don't know, beat her up. Um, and I'm not gonna go into that because, you know, I've had my fair share of just men going fucking insane. I definitely have a smart mouth, but I don't, I don't hit men because I'm of the belief that like, if you hit a man, you should expect to be hit back. I don't believe in that like oh i'm a girl shit like no keep your hands to your fucking self um but yeah i have been assaulted so i don't want to unravel that ball of yarn but um nikki's mad she's mad that And okay, I'm not even trying to diss Meg. But Meg isn't exact, like Meg's not really like a typical Rock Nation girl. You know what I'm saying? She's still a little like, you know, a little like ham hocks and hush puppies and shit like that. And Jay's real like, um, he's real like, ultra glow fucking ethnic rhino you know what i'm saying like french femininity kind of whatever like very new york so to speak and i have a theory as to why he's dealing with megan because i don't think he i don't think i don't think he likes her music i really don't think jay likes meg's music I don't think he thinks she's that attractive, really. But I think that Jay is eyeing... He's, he's eyeing some, like, something with sports in Texas. He is. So he's got, like, Texas sweetheart, you know, and then he's gonna have, like, fucking Meg and Hottie. He's gonna be, like, the fucking, like, cheerleader for the fucking <laughs> football league or whatever the fuck he's plotting, like... Because, I mean, let's be realistic. Like, just, like, be realistic. She's got some cool songs. In fact, I liked her sound a lot more when she was with 1501. I think that they had the sauce for her. I don't think Jay really knows what to do. And it's kind of becoming really obvious that he doesn't know what to do. Because, I mean... We're not stupid. Like, where where did this witness come from all of a fucking sudden? You know, like, people have been talking about this for, like, three years, and all of a sudden there's just, like, this random witness. Like, okay, so, you know, we get the, 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 the Rihanna stimulus package here with Meg Thee Stallion, except Meg doesn't know how to shut up, you know, and stop fucking talking about it and, like, just do it. I really do think that... Meg is gonna be like a shit stain on Jay Z's career. <laughs> like I, I really do think that, um, and I say that with all due respect. Um, but Nikki is just mad that because she wants to be a fucking Rock Nation girl, you know. Like, she, there's no Wayne around. There's no. Yeah, she feels really vulnerable. 
really vulnerable and she is vulnerable um because she's valuable and she's kind of just been like left in the wild and all of these white music execs are staging you know they're they're just like st they're just fucking eating her piece of the pie um and I've said that time and time again, like, bitch, stop fucking arguing with, the, with these girls because it's not about these girls. It's about the white men behind them that want to eat your food. Like, it's, it's not about Doja. It's not about Cardi. It's about Lucas Gottswald and fucking Craig Kalman. Those are the two niggas that you need to be fucking, like, worried about. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, she wants the protection of a rock nation. She wants the organization wants the organization and the prestige and you know <laughs> Nikki thinks her light skin card bangs as hard as like Beyonce's does and as hard as Rihanna's did but it never banged them like it was it was like never that it was never that like it was never that and I think that um even girls like like Doja, like Doja's like Doja's really pretty, you know what I'm saying? And she's like actually light skin. Like her light skin card like hits. And Cardi's Latina, like her light skin card just kinda hits by default. And you know, for for some time Nikki was like feeling her little light skinnedness, but she got reminded very quickly. So yeah, just this kind of like false sense of superiority that she awarded herself on the back of just lobbing all sorts of anti-black shit at Little Kim, despite never ever being a better rapper than Little Kim. Like, I'm sorry, hip hop, you guys are fucking out of your mind. You're out of your mind. If you, <laughs> Nikki is not the queen of rap. No. She, like, y'all better listen to that nine record. Yeah, but listen to that fucking nine record. Nikki could never. She could never be that hard. She could never be that like, like Little Kim just like. Mm. Little Kim is the best. I, I think Little Kim is the best rapper of all time. I think she's better than Jay Z. Yes, because Little Kim has style. She has um, she she has theater. She has just personality. She has performance. She has everything. Also, don't get me wrong, I do love, I love a lot of Jay-Z's music, but Little Kim is just a better artist than he is. Music, But Little Kim is just a better artist than he is. And she's a better product than he is. She's a better, yeah, just the way she shapes her vowels and just her use of air and everything, like, yeah, here's the theater kid in me. Like, I'm paying attention to shit like that. Jay-Z, he, he doesn't have as much color as she does. He doesn't have as much variety as she does. Little Kim is the goat. It's not Jay-Z. It's Little Kim. But, yeah. Um, Nikki's mad. Nikki's mad. And, you know, she, her... Her shit is, is unorganized and she just doesn't know what to do. And yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty clear that Nikki's fucked up. Like she's, she's like fucked up financially, you know? Um, I realized it when she was fucking frying the can of cream corn in the Teflon pan. I was just like, what in the welfare is happening right now? This is insane. Um, and whatever. I've probably like <laughs> made some fucking crazy looking shit on here, but I'm also not going around trying to like menace other artists and like call them broke and tell them to pay their rent and all that other shit like that like you can tell just by whatever keeps happening with Nikki's butt 
that she's fucked up right now. Because there's something very fucking wrong with the butt. And I don't know what it is. But I, I do know that that surgery to get that shit out of there is a pretty penny. It's not like, you know, a boob reduction or like switching out for a new pair of, a new pair of bags. It's not like, it's not like a rhinoplasty. No, it's, I know that that procedure, especially con like, ugh, just considering like, ugh, like, you know, just how many fucking little pockets of just migrated stuff there probably is like yeah that's a very tedious thing and it's also like a very risky procedure that she can't afford to have right now and i mean i can't i i'm i'm not one to talk you know i will fucking i will be miss bussy until the end of fucking time okay and that's that on that i will be miss chibi until the end of time but an artist of her stature peddling press on nails. So I, I do a lot of sourcing and a lot of like, yeah, all day, all day. Sourcing agents, direct factory, whatever, whatever. I see what the um, price on these things are. And it just, it doesn't add up, you know, considering the number of streams and just doing a royalty calculation. It's like something, something is just really not adding up. Um, I don't, I don't believe the lie that she's not doing videos because she wants everyone to focus on the music. If you wanted us to focus on the music, you would not be like beefing with Meg Thee Stallion. <laughs> because I've also, like, trust me, like, I have been, you know, making my own shit on my own dime, and I know what it's like. Like, I, I, I know what limited budget looks like. I'm just being honest. Like, I know what it, what it's, what it gives. Like, yeah, cartoon cover art. Like, <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> fuck it up <laughs> oh shit sometimes we gotta do what the fuck we gotta do you know but just be honest about that i think that's more i think that's a lot cooler like just be honest about it and just go all the way lo-fi you know because i definitely noticed it wasn't until your album drops that somebody put some money up for a stylist for you to rent clothes from brands that really don't want you in their shit oh i hate that she does that i hate that she fucking does that